welcome back to another episode of the Ozark Music Shop live, live. at IDMA in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's, We're it's so our road live. show. It is. It's the road show. <laughs> our very first road show. Is it obviously. an antique road show? Well, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> That's anyway. not funny. We got some more great entertainment the rest of the day, <laughs> and some bands are coming by. <laughs> ah, I don't know why we let you. I said, Jeremy, you can do this intro, and you're like, oh, I'm going to do it, and, and then you do that. Me. They didn't. I was on here so much. We want to thank our lead sponsor, Sodar City. They are sponsoring the show for all of next year, the next season, as well as IBMA, and uh, we want to That's thank right. them for that. That's been um, great. If you haven't been to Bluegrass and Barbecue down there, it's like a month-long bluegrass extravaganza. It's actually an award-winning bluegrass festival in uh, Sodar City, so be sure everybody and who's that anybody me. is there. So it's pretty amazing. And this guy's uh, kind of glad. working out in the backyard, <laughs> background there. <laughs> He's freaking so. <laughs> <laughs> I love live TV. That is the best. Anyway, we're glad you're with us. We're going to have some great bands. Uh, the next one is actually really amazing. This uh, lady I've known for a very long time. A few ladies in the band. We've well, I mean, here. but it, it, it's it's going to be her project. Yeah. But the band I've known every bit as long, and they're all great players, all great people. We are excited to have Gina Brady here with her brand new album, and she brought a kick butt band. She even has it released in CD. On TV. She has it not only an album, but a CD. <laughs> I, an LP. I, and, uh, I am so glad we have you here to do the quiz. I liked it better when I was doing this by myself. Yeah, the people didn't. They started calling in <laughs> and get Jeremy back on there. We're losing it. We're losing it. It's no good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. It's going to be some great music. It is. Jenny Britt Band. That's right. Can't wait. It's going to be good. I'm looking at the camera right now. <laughs> we got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, I'm Jason Chapman, and I run a music store with my brothers, John and Jeremy. People are always asking, what is it like to be in a family business? Well, I've been in a band with my family for the last 28 years. And if that wasn't enough, we recently opened a music shop. Since opening the shop, we found that the people that come through the door are just about as unique as the instruments they carry. And now, since they gave us a TV show, we leave the cameras running and there's always something going on at the shop.
that, that would be appreciated. <laughs> All right, we're here at IBM May with uh, with president of uh, the president of IBM May, Mr. Greg Cahill. Uh, Mr. President, thank you for being here today. We appreciate your time. It's totally my pleasure to see the Chappies TV show and to be here visiting with you. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is it true that once you become president, you never have to open your own door again? Uh... Uh, so yeah, there are doors opening and closing for me all the time in, in my journey here as president of the IBMA. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the question's going to get a little bit more hard-hitting now. Okay. How would you respond to your critics that say yours has been a lame duck presidency uh, that was won on empty promises and uh, campaign slogans? I'd say now is the time. I'd say, <laughs> lame duck what? I'd say, I like duck. That's pretty, pretty good soundbite we got right there. Now, with the, with the current uh, bailout proposal, how is that going to affect the IBMA? Well, if you leave the bales in, then they're just too protected. We like to have the bales out because how else were the cows get to the bales? I never thought of it that way. <laughs> now we can see why you became president. You're <laughs> well versed in, in foreign affairs and uh, a lot of people said a banjo player could never become president. Is that, you were the first, uh, no, you were the second. So that, that is surprising. What, do the banjo players have a, a lock on this? I think so because, well, it's thumb index middle, and Pete Wernick was a banjo player, and he was the president. And then, of course, thumb index middle, that's Tim, right? So Tim O'Brien was the president, and then I got to be president after David Crow. But he was a fiddle player, and that was just a little slip. Well, as long as we've got a, a musical cabinet, I'm sure you guys can get together and jam. That's, that's all that's necessary. I would have to agree. We appreciate you taking the time out today to uh, be a part of this uh, craziness that goes on here and for, for providing the event that we could take this type, type of thing to the American people and to the world. That's, that's right. We want a banjo in every home. <laughs> that is a good slogan. Banjo in every home. All right, thank you. Hey guys, we're back here at the uh, IBMA World of Bluegrass with one of my favorite ladies in the whole world. And I'm, I like, I'm totally serious about that. Me, Gina, we've hung out for a lot of years. We a have. lot of years. All of us have. Yeah. <laughs> we've been discussing this. It's become like a recurring theme is all of us getting old at IBMA and recognizing how much older we are now. Yes. Uh, shorter, uh, earlier bedtime. <laughs> a lot. Sure. <laughs> we know. We know all now have kids and yes. and different schedules and all that kind of Absolutely. stuff. And there's all these young guys that are and kids that are out here just playing and play it fast. And I can't do that anymore. I, all that stuff. It's been sing high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still does that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, but I still do it. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are so glad to have Gina Britt in here. She's got a uh, new project came out this summer and it is awesome it's Thank all you. good stuff and you brought a killer band with you of also a bunch of good friends that uh, we've known for a long time yeah. so it's been really good yeah so the, the guys that are with me and gal uh, <laughs> I, I should clarify my best some of my best friends in the whole entire world mm -hmm. it's just you know when i did this album uh, i wanted to kind of capture on it what it's like to make music with your friends what it's like to get in an after hours jam session at like IBMA or a, a bluegrass music festival around a campsite and, and the chemistry that you have with certain people and, and that's what I tried to capture on this album and so Very today cool. I've got Greg Luck and his wife Courtney mm -hmm. on fiddle and um, everybody knows them Beth, everybody Beth Lawrence on the bass everybody and, knows her and Jonathan Dillon on the mandolin <laughs> see you got everybody so, so it's really cool it's really fun it turkey track it is the first time. There was 
There was a band called Petticoat Junction yes. way back in the day. I've actually still got photos of that. Someday we'll just post those. That's the right. Top. In the store, believe it <laughs> or not. I've seen that. I've seen it floating around on the worldwide uh, face webs. That's what we do. Worldwide <laughs> face webs. That's one of my favorite things right there. I hang out on the face webs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you have become like a North Carolina legend. You've been around doing this for a long time. You were... You were the kid that was uh, going to all the bluegrass festivals, picking and singing, playing the banjo, and everybody knows Gina Britt. Oh, yeah, I've, I started playing when I was eight, and uh, my parents, I, I told somebody this the other day, I called my parents, they were like the soccer moms and dads of bluegrass, and they <laughs> drove me all over the country, and you know, made drove so many miles just to take me and get me to where I could uh, learn from other people, old, older uh, generation pickers and younger pickers too. It's That's just, awesome. Yeah. If, if they went with soccer, you probably <laughs> wouldn't still be playing that. Today, That's so right. right That's right. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's led you to a bunch of new stuff, and right now the most uh, recent project besides this uh, that you're doing right now is Sister Sadie. Yeah. Doing real well, by the way. Uh, won uh, Vocal Group of the Year. We did. Congratulations Thank on you that. Very much. Uh, you've had you've been up for uh, IBM Awards before, correct? Yeah, I've uh, won a couple of uh, recorded events with different uh, collaborations that I've done, and uh, so it's, it's but it's still a surreal experience. It is. And very, it's awesome. Very humbling. Well, congratulations yeah, congratulations. We, we discussed this already. Uh, we've had a lot of people from the awards uh, that won, that were on here, yeah. and we think it's because of this. If you had not scheduled this particular performance right here, wouldn't have happened. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I talked to you and we did this. It's like she, a good luck charm. She doesn't believe it at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep selling it like it's true. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, but they're doing, you guys are killing it. Sister Sadie's going all over the place. Great singing and playing on that as well. And gosh, I'm just so glad to have you in here. Thank you. This is the sweetest lady ever. And one of the finest banjo picking and singing ladies. You can't ask for more. Look at that. And she gets, you know what I love is when she gets kind of like bashfulish looking. It? You're, you're welcome. I just did that to you again. <laughs> anyway, we love Gina Britt. I am so I glad you, you guys, came here. I'm so proud of you with what you've accomplished in, in your career outside of playing music. It's, it's very, it's been fun. It's very nice. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad to, I'm glad to be back here. And IBMA has been wonderful. And thank you again for coming and being with us. Thank you. For we will uh, get them back to do another song here shortly. And then, like tradition, we're going to come in and ruin a song for you guys. So <laughs> it's fun. That's what we like to do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we'll be back just after this. One of the cool things when we opened the shop that we didn't realize would happen was some of the interesting and uh, very unique instruments that would be brought into us. And this one, more of the story behind the guitar, makes it really interesting. But when I first saw it, I thought it was pretty unique because it, it, it is dated 1932. Um, the fellow that brought it in didn't know much of the history on it, so we did a little bit of research and, and Liz kind of looked it up. And, and that's when the story got really interesting. It's a cult guitar. <laughs> that is one way of putting it, yes. Well. Some people call it a cult, some people just call it a commune. Either way, it was called House of David, and it was established in 1903 by a guy named Benjamin Purnell. He says he's going to kind of a messiah type. Sort of a cult, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but he was like, all right, guys, let's just bring a bunch of people in. And he was like, listen, we're going to make a cannery. We're going to make a zoo. We're going to make a professional baseball team. And a bunch of really big bands and we're going to present our word of whatever <laughs> <laughs> I like where you're going <laughs> to uh, to the masses with all of our creative abilities like um, this baseball team was like the baseball's version of the Harlem Globetrotters they could juggle baseballs <laughs> they could juggle um, baseball bats <laughs> And they didn't cut their hair, and they didn't cut their beards. So they had these glorious, 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 glorious hair. I mean, these guys brushed their hair, I would say, probably a hundred times before bed. They were, they were like 
modern day hipsters, pretty much. Yeah, but <laughs> except even, to play baseball. Yeah. <laughs> and the cool thing is, they even had a, it was a professional baseball team, so they had baseball cards, and they they toured and played with some of the top teams out there. Just a very cool, unique story and a big history. A lot of these instruments, you never get to realize what the history is. This one, we're actually able to get online and do some research. So this is just one of the interesting instruments that we've had in the shop, and definitely the story behind it is more interesting than the instrument, probably. As you can tell, Liz was very enthusiastic about the history of the House of David. And the history of their beards. <laughs> yes, that was the, probably the most exciting part. The story behind this is very interesting. It's just one of those little things that we love about the shop, is getting to hold some of these instruments and learn the history of them. But we have been able to purchase a lot of other cool historic instruments and some very, very neat and unique ones. And we're going to be doing little features on all of those throughout the, uh, the seasons here. So check those out. acoustic instrument, the acoustic shop is the place you want to go. The acoustic shop, uh, we've been open about four years now and uh, have been nominated top 100 uh, dealer at NAMM show uh, for two years now. At the acoustic shop we mainly focus on acoustic music instruments and the accessories that go with them. Guitars, mandolins, banjos, basses, and accessories and the, the lessons and repairs that go along with those. Uh, something that we've been passionate about for the last uh, 28 years of our lives, playing in a family band growing up, and we opened a all-acoustic music store in uh, Missouri to help fill the needs of people that are more focused on just that niche of the genre. With us having all those years on the road, it's really helped us to find the right instrument for the right person. When somebody calls us or comes into the shop, we can actually talk to them and know exactly what kind of instrument would be the best fit for them. And I think that's just something that we bring that a lot of people can't. Started out teaching lessons before we even opened the shop, so that is something that has been a passion of ours for the last 15 years. I believe we've said this is where the pros teach, and I truly believe this is where the pros teach. At the Acoustic Shop, this isn't just what we do, this is who we are. So if you're wanting to learn how to play the banjo, the fiddle, the mandolin, guitar, the Acoustic Shop's the place for you.
Well, that, was a, that was a lot of fun. Where's my head? Oh my goodness! My head's missing. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> oh, live TV. Cut off I think again. I grew a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we are back. We it are was back. A great episode. Uh, uh, how, how rehearsed was that jam session? I thought it went excellent. <laughs> it was awesome. Anytime I'm that. playing with Gina and and Beth, it's just like. <laughs> Things are bound to go wrong. I always love when uh, when Greg Luck, you go, you go, hey Greg, you sing it. No man, you sing it. He's like, I'm gonna sing this song, and then he's like, no, you sing it. No, you should sing it. No, it was a back and forth. Yeah, so anyway, it was fun. I had a blast. They sound great. Gina's new album is great, and we are so glad they came and uh, hung out at the booth a little bit. Yeah, it was great. fun. Uh, we got some more acts lined up for the rest of the day. Right? We got two more acts today. And then we get to tear this whole thing down, <laughs> load it into a trailer, and drive 18 hours to get home. But we do it for you, the people. <laughs> um, I'm sure you appreciate those long hours. We're, like I said, we should live stream the entire drive it, and see how many people. Nobody's going to hang out and watch that. It'll be it would be something. Historic. Want to thank our big feed. sponsor though, uh, Silver Dollar City. Again, thank you guys uh, for for working with us this year. We are glad to have them. Go check out the uh, Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival this year. It's going to be awesome. It's A lot of the bands. May. Yeah, a lot of the bands you're going to see on here are going to be there. So be looking for that. It'll be awesome. Yep. And we'll have more bands coming in here tonight. Yes, I think we've got another full episode we're going to do. So stay tuned. We will see you later this afternoon. And then we'll see you when we get back home. 
We got a new <laughs> season of Ozark Music Shop coming out in about a month, I think. So make sure to check out. By the way, we have uh, been watching that counter go up. The Acoustic Shop Facebook page and the Ozark Music Shop face, uh, Facebook page. Hit both of those. Subscribe. Uh, we have the the uh, give, giveaway, giveaway going on right, right now. now. Yeah. The, the AcousticShop.com/giveaway, and uh, we're going to be giving away an Eastman guitar uh, right. in December of 2019. For all the people watching in 2020, it's already over. You missed it, <laughs> but we may have a new giveaway. Don't sign up for that. <laughs> anyway, go check that out. You can also get extra drawings for our extra entries if you do other things as well. So we are glad you've been with us. We will be back later on today, and uh, we'll see you then.